Catholic Bishop. The Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Masani Kinte, has promised that the Gambian Army will remain under civil authority and its members will effectively execute their roles and responsibilities without any political alienation. The CDS made these remarks during the first press conference with local journalists since he assumed office. Asan Rakhani was at the press conference and he filed in this report. In a press briefing this morning, Chief of Defense Staff Lieutenant General Masa Nekinte told journalists that recruitment into the Gambia Armed Forces for the past 22 years was politically influenced. This, according to him, has led to the lack of professionalism within the Army. Yes, there have been a lot of political interference with the selection process, or with the recruitment process into the Gambia Armed Forces. It is not that the, the, the requirements or the criteria are not well spelled out. We have very well articulated you know, procedures that can be followed by the members of the selection board to um, recruit people into the armed forces. Its application over the years has been flawed as a result of direct political interference with the, with the process. <coughs> Fully backed by public funds, the Gambia Armed Forces is one of the most dependent institutions under the government. New transformations by the High Command are shaping strategic changes in the military, positioning the Army to contribute more to socio-economic development. The Gambia Armed Forces is a great potential, or has great potential in contributing directly towards uh, the, the, the GDP of, of this country. If our engineers are trained and equipped, they can build structures, both vertical and, and horizontal structures, as it, it, it is happening in other countries. That will directly save you know, some, 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 the government some cost, and at the same time, it will contribute directly to the GDP of the country. When challenged about his frequent travels, Sidney Skinter said his travels are meant to foster bilateral relations between the Army and its international partners. I travel and I have the responsibility, you know, as the, the Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces to make sure that we work with our partners in ensuring that the Gambia Armed Forces gets what it needs in terms of capacity, in terms of resources, to be able to move to the next level. In the past, we have not been engaging our partners effectively and efficiently. We have not been engaging our partners enough to be able to um, get them understand where we are. Judging the state of national security to be relative, he assured Gambians a new moment of civil military relations that will be apolitical and impartial to execute its responsibilities with diligent professionalism. Reporting for GRS News, I am from Marakani.